All right, guys, welcome to your 58th tutorial. And in this lesson, we are finally going to be done with all of the coding. We're going to be finishing up Bucky's Instant Messenger. So the first thing that we need to do is actually import Java X Swing JFrame. And once that is imported, then of course we need to go ahead and create an object to access this class right here client class so let's go ahead and do that right now client is the class in our object we'll go ahead and name him Charlie I think the other one was named Sally for a server so Charlie can be the client now before I go ahead and actually uh, set this object equal to some value I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about this constructor right here now what this constructor does is it needs a IP address of the server that you're connecting to since eventually what we want to do is we want to store the IP address in this variable called server IP well in order to do that whenever we create an object we need to pass in the IP address that gets stored in the variable host that eventually gets stored in the variable server IP so whenever you you know you make an application like this and you want people that are viewing your website to download and you know actually run this application then what you have to do is you have to give them the IP address of your server however I know that a lot of people watching my videos they probably don't have access to like a dedicated server or maybe a virtual private server so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to test this on your computer no matter what server you have access to as long as you're running this on a personal computer, which everyone is, or watching this tutorial, then you can just go ahead and code it like this. So go ahead and set your object equal to new client, and just go ahead and instead of the IP address of a server, type in 127.0.0.1. Now, if you guys aren't very familiar with IP addresses or networking, 127.0.0.1 means localhost, and what that means is the computer that I'm at right now. So what this basically does is say, okay, the server program is on the same computer that I'm at right now. So again, like I said, whenever you actually install the server program on a server, then this IP address is going to be different, but just for testing purposes, so everyone watching this on YouTube can follow along, just go ahead and put this address 127.0.0.1 and it's going to run on your computer. It's going to view it as a server. So now what we need to do is set Charlie, give him a set default close operation and put J frame crap come on caps lock exit on close just like that now last but not least remember after we're done creating the object itself and giving it a uh, close operation which basically means close when I tell you to close what we have to do is actually start the programming or the brains for our program so in order to do that we have to uh, call this method start running so Charlie start running Charlie start running and what that does is once the GUI is created and you're connected to the server then it could say okay now I want to start running I want to be able to connect to another computer so guys, hopefully you understand what really happens whenever you're uh, actually making this program itself. First of all, you make one program for the client and you can go ahead and you know turn this into a jar and distribute it to all your clients and you have another program for the server. So you have two separate programs, server and client, one sits on your server and one sits on everyone else's computer, the client, and when both of their programs are running, then they are able to connect to each other through streams and sockets and actually have an instant message chatting session with each other so of course I'm sure that you guys want to see an awesome example of this just so you guys know that you know the last hour or so of your time wasn't an entire waste of time and this thing actually works so all I have to do is click this button right here but you know what guys I'm actually gonna wait until the next video because not because I mean but I want to talk you guys through a lot of different aspects of which part does which and why this does that and 
Guys, in the next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is testing out the greatest instant messaging program ever created, Bucky Instant Messenger. So I'll see you then.